Hello and welcome back to The Real Deal. Today, we've got three games for you. Malaga, Sabadell and Malaga coming up for you. Malaga in the Spanish Cup and Sabadell, of course, in the Segunda Division. So again, um, another apology for not making a video for a couple of days. Uh... No real excuse other than I've just been a, a, a bit busy. I do apologise though. I know it's it's, it's frustrating when uh, I tell you I'm going to do daily videos and stuff like that. And then for like a week, maybe a little bit longer than a week now actually, uh, there haven't been daily videos. So I do apologise for that. But uh, we should be getting back to that now. All the busy stuff that I've been doing is, is, is going away now. So we should get some decent videos out for you uh, over the next few days. Obviously the World Cup starts in a few days as well, which will be exciting. So expect some World Cup stuff soon as well. Uh, but today... Let's get into the games and focus on what is important. Right, since you last year in that 0-0 draw to Merida and a 0 and a one-all draw, sorry, to Numantia, we played racing Santander in the winter break, sort of pre-season-ish sort of thing. Uh, lost one in that friendly. Um, I, I didn't play it myself, I didn't do it, but as you can see, two players got injured. One, this guy, I don't even know who he is. I think he had him on trial. He was potentially a guy that we wanted to get in on trial, but wasn't actually that good. Uh, but Jordan Williams, crucially, is out with a dislocated shoulder for... A couple months now, which is going to be a huge loss for us in that CDM role, which I'm not really looking forward to doing. But, you know, we have to deal with it now, which is interesting. First game back, though, after the winter break, Lorca, a 1-0 win there. Anthony Lozano with the goal in the 47th minute to make sure he picks up all three points then. What that means for the table is that we currently sit fourth still. Uh, we are two points off top of the table Lugo, which is pretty good, all playing 20 games. So... Theoretically today we could go top of the table if results go away and we win of course. To the same degree though we could also drop out the playoff zones if we lose and everyone else below us win. So we you know there's swings and roundabouts in today's episode. Could be good, could be quite bad. First up though we have got the game against Malaga today. Uh, so we're starting off slightly more defensive today. Malaga of course in the division above us there. I mean again I'm not in Nottingham. You might have to tell from the surroundings. I'm not in Nottingham today. Uh, so I, don't have, I haven't got the Malaga scarf which I was telling you about last episode because Malaga... A team that I, kind of my second team to support really, if Lincoln City ever went out of business, it'd be Malaga on the grounds that I've got family in Malaga and things like that. That's the reason they're in today's episode, of course. So um, if you're interested into why we're doing two games against Malaga, that's the reason why. But this is the lineup and the formation that we're starting with. So Juan Carlos starts in goal, still not picked up a new goalkeeper yet. We have been looking over the January uh, and winter break and things like that, but nothing has come up yet. Varela, Valentini, Subias and Johansson start at the back. Uh, Carvalho, Sunset, and Guevara start in the middle. Carvalho comes in for that injured Jordan Williams there. He's the kind of the only player that can sort of play CDM. Uh, Aaron and Pucco out on the wings and Lozano starts up front today as a complete forward. Right, kickoff here today against Malaga. Uh, of course, we're not really expected to win this game, but I am looking forward to it and I'm, I'm hoping that we can. We beat Getafe in the previous round of the Spanish Cup and I'm kind of thinking today we could do the same against Malaga. Now, I do plan showing you both games against Malaga. However, if we do lose in this game 4-0, 5 it may even 3-0, there's no point really doing the second leg because uh, I think it will be beyond us away from home if we're already 3-0 down. Right, well, I hope you're all okay. I mean, I've not really spoken to you for a while, you know. I hope you're all okay still. hope everything's well with you guys. Everything's all right with me, I've got to say. Um, you know, I've been busy just doing different things, seeing people doing things. I mean, that's, I've not been doing all that much, I've got to say. I've been a bit lazy with recording and things like that. But, you know, I hope you're all okay. Hope you've not missed me too much. Um, I've missed, I haven't missed making videos, actually. I keep thinking to myself. I need to start making videos again, I need to get back into it, and then something else comes up and I'm busy and things like that. This game, though, has not been very busy, and uh, this is the first highlight now. Santa Cazorla tackles uh, Lozano there, playing quite deep Cazorla there. Of course, I'd love to get him at the club. He only got the one-year deal at Malaga. Um, I did try to offer him a deal on the 1st of January when you can offer contracts to players. However, he wasn't interested in coming to the club, so that's a little bit annoying, but they're coming forward now, Malaga, into the middle. It's uh, headed headed over by their striker. I thought Subias managed to get on it, but he didn't. In terms of transfers for us, uh, no transfers have been made yet. Um, I'm looking at it, obviously. Um, I'm looking as well at players who are going to be out of contract at the end of the season we can probably sign. I think they'll be quite useful uh, if we get a lot of those guys scouted out. Johannesson puts a great ball into Lozano, though. And Lozano could... Oh, he was so close to making it 1-0 to us then. I'm not going to lie. I mean, although Malaga had a few more chances, it's been a pretty even game so far, which I don't know if that, that might give me some confidence in the second half of the season now, knowing that we can do this against a, a top side, at least in this version of the game, uh, a top side in Spain. Obviously, real life, they were very, very poor in uh, La Liga. But they're doing all right in, in game for me at the moment. Perhaps if we do get promoted this season, uh, I don't have to worry about a relegation battle too much because I think if we go up and we don't strengthen enough uh, with young players and things obviously it's meant to be like a youth sort of save um, but 
we may have to get a few more experienced heads in if we go up, but that's we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. But I do feel like we're going to be in a bit of a relegation battle if we do go up, because I don't think we'll be able to strengthen as well as we maybe could do if we were a more reputable team, perhaps. I don't know. Malaga, though, still trying to come forward through this little highlight they've got going on here. And they're passing it around the back, although I've got to say, whew, under pressure there, Kone puts it back to his goalkeeper, Casado, who uh, launches it upfield instead. And now Santa Cazola can come forward. He puts a great ball forward to Harper, who does manage to take the lead for Malaga. 1-0 Malaga now in the 56th minute. It's off the mark for them now. It must be like a young English player that's come through, maybe. Jack Harper is Scottish, apparently. Where did he come from before? Uh, Real Madrid, of all teams. I can't say I've ever heard of Jack Harper before, but obviously he's apparently come through the, uh, the, the Spain, the Real Madrid youth ranks before moving to Brighton. Uh, then moving to Malaga. Interesting. If you've heard of him before, please do let me know. Is he in the Scotland setup? I don't, I don't know if he's a Scottish international or not, but he seems to be doing okay for Malaga right now. He scored a goal against us, so he must be doing all right for himself. Sunset now on the ball, plays it out towards Pucco. He's been decent so far this season, but he puts a fantastic cross in. Lozano gets on the other end, and it's all squared up within two or three minutes of them scoring their goal. Oviedo 1, Malaga 1. I want to say that was a superb ball from Pucco there. Usually, when I when I compliment players like that, it all they, they do something really bad. But no, Pucco, he put a decent ball in the area. Lozano got on the end of it, and he's managed to uh, equalise things for us. Aaron hasn't played massively well in this in this game, so Pastrana is going to come on that side as a winger instead. I mean, Guevara hasn't played massively well. Can he go back instead? Of, he can't really go back. Cabala's like the only guy that can sort of play there, which is a bit annoying. Uh, Garolette is going to have to come on instead and I mean can can Sunset play as a box to box a bit better he kind of can actually so we'll, we'll do those little changes there they're the two players that we'll make changes for I'm not gonna lie I think we've played better in this game than I thought we were going to you know I I, I thought we we're gonna get a bit crushed by Malaga today but I think we've we've shown ourselves in a good light it's all to play for in the second leg it's gonna be very hard to win in that second leg I think but We've given ourselves a decent opportunity. I don't know if away goals count in the Spanish Cup or not. Um, they may well do, I don't know. Right now, I think we can be pretty pleased with how we're playing. And actually, we could go and snatch a late winner now as Lozano comes forward. Uh, he's not going to snatch a winner like that, is he? Well, with a few seconds left in today's game, unless Santos sprints now to the other end of the pitch and has managed to score a goal. He doesn't. The referee blows up instead. Oviedo 1, Malaga 1. That is a decent result, I've got to say, to take into that. Um, I mean, the manager, the assistant manager says... Don't, don't be tough on them. It's a tough result to take. I'll let him do the team talk. I mean, he's motivated by a few players there. But I think we can be pleased with that. We can take it into the second leg. Competitive. You know, we can be a competitive side in the second leg. The Sabadell game comes up in three days' time. So I'm going to rest these players for a day. Because I'm pretty sure it does help. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I think resting these players does help. For a day, I think it gives you a bit of a boost in terms of the condition of players for the next game. So... I'm going to rest those players and I will see you at the next game. Right, so we're back now for the Sabadell game. Uh, we've changed formation just because we need to be a bit more attacking for this game against Sabadell, who are further down the table as well. And we've made a few personnel changes as well. Uh, Sunset and Subius both got off the pitch. Hernandez and Garrett have come on instead. Uh, obviously, the wingers have come off the pitch as well. So Diara comes in as that attacking midfielder. Andy Thomas comes in as a second striker. Other than that, the team is the exact same. It should be, at least. I think it is. So uh, let's get into this game against Sabadell and look for a big three points. Now, obviously, we had a, a bit of an issue last time against Sabadell. 3 0 up we were at half time, or we were 3 0 up in like 20 minutes or so. Game finished 3 0, first game of the season. It was a bit of a poor one from us, so hopefully today we're going to come back and, uh, and finish a job off properly this time actually get the win early corner though for us actually we're, we're, i thought we we're in the blue then we're in the white black and white stripes today our away kit we've hit the post there agonizingly there in the seventh minute of the game so uh, a pretty decent start for us so far if we can just keep building on this kind of early pressure we should be good as garoletta puts oh varela sorry puts a ball into the area from the corner although it's been cleared and uh, acer is looking looking like he's going to get on the end of that but johannesson steps in the way he puts a ball up instead but raul or thomas didn't particularly want to chase it by looks of things now. It's gone back to the goalkeeper, plays it back to Carlos David. A bit dangerous there from the uh, from the Sabadell defence, although we're coming forward again with the ball now. Garoletta on the ball. Diara, Diara tries to do something clever with it, but it doesn't really work out for him. And now Sabadell coming forward. Asa on the ball into Arthoro. He puts it wide there. And that could have been an incredible goal for Sabadell. Corner kick for, for Sabadell. And it's gone all the way through to the back post. Then it's somehow... Rolled into the back of a net. I mean, 
the, wasn't expecting us to be losing to Sabadell today. I wasn't expecting us to go behind to Sabadell, let alone lose to them or things like that. So uh, it's it's not looking good so far. We've got to get back into this game now. Juan Carlos really, really isn't a very good goalkeeper now. He's getting on a little bit. You know, he's still three and a half star current ability, but I'm just starting to lose faith in him now. Um, the quicker we find a replacement this January, the better, I think, is Johansson. Gets on the end of that ball there. He's got a chance to put it into Lozano, who equalises pretty quickly. We're back on level terms, just as it was in the last game, actually. Equalised pretty quickly after Malaga went ahead. Hopefully today we can finish the job off and pick up a few more goals to make sure we get three points today, though. Sanchez, or Juan Carlos Sanchez on the ball now, plays out to Varela. He's got lots of space. Now, just try and make use of it. Like, no one's coming close to you, so use it. That's very good. Into Diara, who wins the penalty in the 30th minute. So now we have a chance to go in the lead in this game. Raul de Thomas steps up to take it. Saved by the goalkeeper, though. When you miss a penalty like that, you do start to think that today is not going to be the day for us. We've hit the post. We've conceded a ridiculous goal. And now we've missed the penalty. It's it's not looking the best for us. With the look that we've had so far in today's game, I am I am actually waiting for Sabadell to score a 90th minute winner or something ridiculous like that. Uh, they're sitting in 16th right now, but... Uh, if they don't win today and other teams below them do win, they can go into the relegation zone as Arturo just puts it wide of the post. Of course, the win for us today uh, puts us top of the table, but only temporarily, of course, because, you know, no one's allowed to play games at the same time in Spain. I think there's two other games going on right now, actually. Um, if we look down here quickly, yeah, Valladolid are playing. I mean, there's a few teams that are playing as well. Uh, I think there's two other games going on. However, the other games don't really matter unless we do our bit. We have to get the win to then think about the other games and, and how that could work out for us, of course. Uh, Carvalho on the ball now into Garaleta. Guevara, Diara, what a lovely little passing move there. Just cut out of the last second there. And now Sabadell can come on the counter-attack. Acer on the ball. There's, oh, there's a lot of people in the middle now. It's cleared, but only as far as Omar, who can now put the ball into Acer. Acer back into Arthura, who just... Like, he's had so many chances. He should have scored a goal by now, Arthura, I've got to say. Well... This, it's not really working out for us, is it, right now, I've got to say. Um, so, I'm thinking we move Diara out onto the wing. We ring Pucco on. We've got no, I've, no one on the left. Didn't put anyone on the left. Can Lozano play there? Can Raul, Raul Thomas kind of can play there, actually, on that wing. Which means Jeremy will, will come on the pitch as well as a target man on support. Uh, we're going to go a bit more attacking as well. There's the formation we're going for now. We've not used that for a long time. Uh, in fact, I don't think we've used that at all with Oviedo. It's a bit more of a Lincoln save, that one. Link Lincoln formation. We've got 15 minutes, though, to turn this game around. And if I'm honest with you, I'm not feeling that confident about it. Although, as well, I was about to say, as we say that, um, there you go. I, was, I thought we'd pass it to our blue man. I'm still thinking we're in the blue for some reason. The Thomas, though, into Lozano, into Jeremy. Jeremy, what a time to pop up with a goal. Only his second of his Oviedo career. But Jeremy, the youngster has scored an incredible goal there to put us temporarily top of the table by points. I'm liking that from Jeremy. He's a boy for the big big game, basically. Like, he comes on... I think the only two goals he has scored have been the winners in, in games that we've sort of needed to win, essentially. We've been drawing them, and he has to go and score the winner, and he does it. He's done it here today. Raul Thomas actually puts it back to... What a great save that was from the goalkeeper. I was about to say Pucco is going to make it 3-1, which doesn't really mean Jeremy had to score that goal. But it does mean he had to score that goal because the goalkeeper made an absolutely incredible save there from Pucco. And as the clock ticks down to the 94th minute, we have a free kick. We've taken it quickly, but it doesn't matter. Sabadell 1, Oviedo 2. Jeremy with the big boy goal right at the end of that game there to make sure we got the three points. Uh, calmly, we got away with that today. We need to be better. And a few players, a few players look confused and demotivated. Uh, so we'll just talk to them all quickly and say you impressed me out there tonight um and i mean rather thomas is angered he's angered by that um he I didn't even talk to him but he was angered by that i'm going to cautiously say cautiously say you impressed me he looks happy now but uh, i mean I've, I've messed this team talk up quite a bit i've got to say i've messed this team talk up quite a bit all right we're, gonna leave, we're just gonna leave the game we're just gonna leave the game we, we're not going to think about it anymore we've picked up the three points there we go temporarily top of the table seven games in a row now without losing which is pretty good for us that's the unbeaten record um i guess we'll wait for the other games to play and i'll show you a table but other than that we're gonna go straight to the malaga game so um i'll see you for the, the table so the other games have played and actually only leganes were the side to have won that were around us actually lugo drew uh, alaves drew as well i think so we move up to third 
level on points with Lugo and two points behind Leganes now. So a pretty good weekend for us, I've got to say. So we're back now for the second Malaga game, and we've, we've actually got the exact same lineup as that first game. So there's nothing really to talk about there. Uh, same formation, same lineup, just a different day, basically. So we're taking on Malaga in the second leg, of course. If you remember back five minutes ago, however long it was ago, uh, the one all draw. We've got a lot of work to do in the second leg, but it's not impossible. Right, so kickoff is upon us, and uh, we're looking for... I, I think we're just going to try and score one goal early on and then just shut up shop for the rest of the game. I think that's probably the best way to do it. But at the same time, part of me is always thinking attack is the best form of defence. So, I don't know, it's, it's difficult. Early indications, though, do kind of suggest that uh, Malaga are the team in, in charge here. We're not going to get the early goal that we wanted. It's 20 minutes into the game now. I haven't been a single highlight yet, which is very reminiscent of the first game in the first half. No highlights until, what, 30, 36 minutes or so into the game? Apparently, we've not made a good job of possession today, so we need to try and retain possession a little bit more. 54-46 isn't great, to be fair, so we do need to try and get a bit more possession. And apparently, we're having shots, but they're only from long range, so we need to work the ball into the box more, which I thought we had on already. I think that's a big error on my part if we don't have the... Uh, the, 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 work the ball into the box because that's what I that's what I base a lot of my game around I've got to say not that I really know what I'm doing all that much but a lot of my game is based around working the ball into the box well I, it was a highlightless first half there highlightless first half we're going to go passionate uh, and we're going to go it's time to dig deep give it all you've got and um, well a few players listen keenly that was it. I mean, it could have been better that team talk. Uh, the, the team talk could have been better. The reaction could have been better. Um, an early goal in the second half. Look, we're going to reset things. I want an early goal in the second half. And then we're going to park the bus for the rest of the game. As Johansson puts a cross in. Cleared, though, by the defender. We've got a chance now. Sunset into Aaron. Aaron! Aaron! Gets the goal that we need. Brilliant stuff there. We are 1-0 up against Malaga on the night. 2-1 up on aggregate. They, they hurt me this time. I wanted that early goal. Now it's time to park the bus. And by parking the bus, I mean we're going to go defensive, not counter. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, actually. Maybe we shouldn't have done that on the grounds that we've actually had more chances created being on counter and things like that than, than, than Malaga have done, actually, I've got to say. So maybe we should have stayed as it is, but I think defensive will give us a bit more solidity now, perhaps. Chance now, though, for... Malaga as they come forward now this is their first highlight of the game in fact it's only the second highlight of the game um, in fact it's the first highlight of the game that isn't an opening highlight of a half because obviously the goal we scored came from the opening highlight of the half as Lozano put the ball just wide there we stepped things up a gear in this second half and I'm liking what I'm seeing Aaron's corner now swinging outwards to Carvalho is this off a training ground Pucco edge of the area if he'd had a bit more time could have got a cleaner shot away instead it was blocked uh, and Malaga can now clear it. But this is not looking good for Malaga at all as Oviedo are winning. Although they've on the counter-attack. Subias gets in there brilliantly. Although Rika now on the ball. They're, they're coming forward on Malaga. And I'm not liking what I'm seeing right now as they put the ball out. They've got a lot of room on that space. Oh, they've just hit their crossbar. Oh, that was... We've got away very, very lucky there, I've got to say. Very lucky. Playing better in this game than in the game against Sabadell who are bottom of our table or bottom end of our table. So... It's interesting, I've got to say, while we're playing so well today. Again, they've just hit the post again. That's twice they've hit the woodwork. I think, I think it's just luck. I think today is just luck for us. Subius hasn't had the best of games, although we're on a clean sheet still. But we'll bring Hernandez on for a little bit. Uh, and then Raul de Thomas is going to come on for Lozano at the other end of the pitch as a Trek Batista on attack. We'll make those two changes for the last 15 minutes and see what happens. We've got a corner now, though. It's clear there but only as far as Carvalho Guevara with a shot which wasn't far away from the edge of the area there but uh, unlucky stuff tell you what we are, we're coming forward again now Guevara Sunset Raul de Thomas who's trying to oh, he's put a bad pass in there I was going to say he's got a chance to really shine today he missed a penalty in the last game he's got to bounce back from that he, he's bounced back by giving the ball away to Malaga who nearly go and score at the other end of the pitch Malaga though coming forward space in the area Sanchez with a fantastic save Malaga really trying hard now towards the end of this game they've hit the post twice for Sanchez to make some decent saves but with four minutes to go in this game it looks like we could overturn Malaga which would be an absolutely incredible result we I thought it was just luck against Getafe in the previous round I thought it was just luck but today against Malaga we have well actually to be fair today against Malaga has a lot of it has been luck 
an awful lot of today has been luck. But uh, I'm going to take it anyway. That's two top division sides that will have beaten over two legs so far this season, which is good going if we get promoted. It gives me confidence for next season that we're not going to get relegated straight away. However... There is 30 seconds or 20 seconds on the clock still. And Malaga have got a ball coming forward now. Kiko, in, why did he shoot? Number 21 for Malaga is open in the middle, unmarked. Could have had a tap in, but the guy shot instead. And it means that we have beaten Malaga 2-1 on aggregate. 1-0 on the night. Absolutely incredible stuff this is. Uh, passionately out there, boys. That was special. No one gives a chance. We've won that game. And we're into the Spanish Cup sixth quarterfinals. Not even sixth round, it's quarterfinals now, which is pretty cool. We're going to get a big boy. I'm telling you, it's Barcelona or Real Madrid, I think we're going to get. So Oviedo triumph over Los Bocarones, um, which is actually the shrimps uh, or the anchovies. Uh, anchovies, I think it is, yeah. Um, which is, oh, That's what they're nicknamed in, in Malaga. Malaga are nicknamed the anchovies, like Lincoln City of the Imps. Malaga or Los Bocarones, which is the hench of these. A little bit of trivia for you, that was. You know, I'm not sure you're even bothered by that, but I, I thought I'd tell you. All right, I tell you what. Uh, the draw is in a couple of days' time. So I think we'll do a draw and see who we get in the quarterfinals. Ah, annoyingly, a goalkeeper we were just about to sign decides to go to Marseille instead of us, uh, which is kind of understandable considering Marseille are a lot better. But this guy looked pretty decent and I was excited to have him at the club. Unfortunately... He's been stolen away from us. And it was at a cheap price as well. Three, three, well, we were going to pay £375,000. Like, that was a steal, I thought. But unfortunately, he's gone elsewhere. So, the hunt for a goalkeeper continues. In the meantime, though, here we go with the with the Spanish Cup draw. So, Bilbao, Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid, uh, Levante, Barcelona, uh, Valencia, sorry, and Seville. We're the only side in there that's not in the top division. I think we are. So, this is good going. Valencia, Real Madrid, Barcelona... Oviedo, that is huge. Seville, Levante, Atletico Madrid, Athletic Bilbao. So, Barcelona in the Spanish Cup, which is pretty cool, I've got to say. Uh, so, next episode, I think we do another three-game special in the next episode. Barcelona, Albacete, Barcelona. We've got to do that, I think. How can we not? All right, well, thank you very much for watching today's episode and what an incredible victory it was. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you do drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, and I will see you next time for some more Real Deal action.